Nataka nizungumze sana leo. Tena sana. Sasa nataka kwanza nitafakari nafasi ya mwanamke katika taifa. Sisi wanaume sote tunaelewa kabisa. Wale wote wamekuja hapa hata wale wana nyumbani. Tunajua kwamba bila mwanamke mambo hayasoki. Mwanaume hata afanye mambo mangapi. Lakini kama hama na mwanamke wa pale ya kuendeleza mambo ni kazi bure. Sisi tunajua. Kwa kazi ya mwanamke ni kuendeleza mambo. Hiyo ndio kazi ya mwanamke. Kwa sababu katika sera za maumbile mwanamke amepewa fungu la msaidizi mkuu kwa sababu pale yeye ndiye mwenye kuendeleza mbegu hupandwa lakini mwenye kuikuza na kuendeleza ni mwanamke sasa hata mwanaume apande mbegu ngapi ni kazi ni kazi bure ya pili inajulikana dunia mzima mwanamto mtoto mpumbavu akizaliwa kwa nyumba asema afanana na mama yake awasema afanana na baba yake asema afanana nani na mama yake nini inasema mwanamke mpumbavu huiangusha nyumba yake kwa mikono yake ile nafasi mwanamke amepewa katika jamii ni kubwa mno ndani nafasi ambayo it cannot be abandoned the strength of any society must be judged by the strength of the women in that society the healthiness of any society must be judged by the healthiness of that of the, the women in that society the activeness of any nation must be judged by the activeness of the women of that nation If no three are missing there is no society that will ever grow. And that is the position that a woman is given in society. So if you go anywhere in the world and you find women in caucus groups za masengenyo just know there is a problem. But if you go anywhere in any nation and you find women are discussing business then you know that is likely to be a progressive nation so why i decided though i was very tired today to come and support the first lady in this function is because i was told is a caucus of women who want to discuss business not caucus of women who want to back bite the governor kama ningejua hapa ilikuwa inakuja inaweza muweze kunijozea vidole siji ndani dalili sije kuja leo hii but because you are here to discuss business then we said we join you because for the first time for the first time in the history of this county we have a caucus of women in business Sisemi kwa ubaya but I've been trying to understand what is to put my endeleo ya wanawake and I still don't understand what it means today it is an outfit that was created many years ago but today in Tarariva I don't know what it means maendeleo ya wanawake i don't know maendeleo namna gani but let me assume that this caucus was out of maendeleo ya wanawake but if it is not we will still have to go back and look at maendeleo ya wanawake and ask ourselves what was it that was maendeleo ya wanawake so today we are happy ya kwamba mume jiunga
na mnataka kusonga na pia hapa nimesikia mkizungumza maneno fulani nilisikia mkitaja mkitaja China and you are telling the manager of KCB Taki Dunia ya sasa is, has become one village. It's one village. That's why people are talking about Turkey, they're talking about China, they're talking about France, they're talking about all the countries of the world. It is because the world now is one small village. Whether in business, in academia, in trade, in everything, including love. Today you can easily through WhatsApp for the men who don't know. You get to WhatsApp and you get a wife. If you are not in social media, you are not connected to this world. Through Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, all those programs. You just get to China and you can shop for your husband and for your wife. People are getting married every day through WhatsApp. <laughs> and you kill your mambo. So we are just one small village. Even in crime, people do international crime. Cyber security is part of international crime. So we are just one village. So when I hear the word business, and I hear what you are talking about, business, women in business, or the word business, simply means you are part of the global society. All human beings grow to become business people. So you live in a small community, uh, whether uh, whatever tribe you are, but you grow to become, to join the business community, whether you are a man or a woman or wherever. We all grow to occupy that business space across the globe. So when I hear here about you talking about France and Turkey, I hear the voice that you want to become part of the global society. You want to occupy that space uh, in business within the globe. Squeeze, there is international business, there is international trade, there is international communication, there is international whatever. Everything now is international. So I'm happy to hear that you want to become part of that global society, to make money that is global in dollars, in Dutchmarks, in francs, in whatever um, uh, denomination. Um, so I'm happy that you have that focus to become what, what you want. What people have done nowadays to get there across the world is to open up space for every other place to become a destination where the international community can be able to reach you, where international trade can come, where you can communicate with the world, where you can do the rest of the things with the rest of the world. Tana has been a closed society for many years. For the last so many years, we have been trying to market this county to the world so that then the world can be able to see us. We were not visible until very recently. But in Sasa, we see international organizations coming here, UN agencies, NGOs, different partners across the globe. Even just yesterday, we were here with different partners from across the world. Today, Tana is now visible from wherever. We have Chinese in the county. We have Chinese wanting to do business in Madogo. We have Japanese who are just here setting up their businesses. We have British people who want to do rice factory here. We have so many people who want to come to do business in Tana. Because now Tana is visible. Out of our rigid production, now we are selling uh, beans, uh, green gram, to the USA. You just heard the Akwamba is people who want to market our produce here. Mambo ni mengi hapa. Our gypsum is, is going to Congo, is in Tanzania. It has hit the global space. It is in, it is in Malaysia, our gypsum, Eco Malaysia, from Tana. There's so much that we can talk about today. 
it depends on us. Us, as a county government, we have been struggling to try and open up this tunnel, not just to make to market it, but to open up Tana to become a global destination for business growth, for investments, uh, and for, for, for businesses. And we are struggling to do that. Struggling to make Tana or Hola, Hola municipality a municipality that makes sense. And we are not making progress because much as we want to move forward, there are people who are pulling us backwards. Next year we have Masalani Meanza Juzi. Garissa has been there. Now we have Buraist. They have cooled the dam. Four municipalities within a very small, short period of time. This is here, to Ghana, to Najikokota, na Kijihola Chetu, hapa, ambacho kimeaza many centuries ago, and we have not been able to make it a destination that makes sense. Hapa tu, Gungoni now is becoming a municipality. Malindi it is, Kilifi it is, Watamu na Mahio, Mtoapa, Mariakani, just neighbors. In Kitui, the same. All of our neighbors, Sasa, Omekua, they have made their places destinations to the rest of the world. Since the upper Makesi Kila Siku, oh, he Punguza Mitakatu, Punguza Kilomtambili, Sri Nini, you what? You Vuta Pale, Vuta Huku, Semen Ushamba, Sema Ushamba. Riva ushamba utatumaliza Utatumaliza sana Kusababu tumekata kufunguka Na kuangalia dunia vile dunia na votazama That's why we cannot make progress That's why Mutakuwa mnazunguza tu hapa mambo ya take And you go nowhere But we've not stopped at that We are struggling to do it We want to make Madogo municipality I'm saying we want to To make Madogo municipality to make Bura municipality, to make Garisenia municipality, to make uh, Waldena municipality, to make Uwaiwa municipality. There are many municipalities, but I know it will be a mere talk. It will take us close to 20, 30 years to get that journey complete. Because Hola, Kwanza, Inatusumbua. So, Tumeweka Siasa sa Kishamba, Mbazo has it to say D. Yet near to Nazo, but we cannot move. Lakin to Tendelia Kungangana, at Jacoma Hapo, for the last five years, six or seven years, we have been trying to take people abroad so that they can see the world. We have taken people to France, to Britain, to China, starting with Mamayao to Lukwa to Nayenda Nai, Dubai. And when we went to Dubai, we were trying to understand the history of Dubai. Why and how Dubai has become a global destination. Discussing about the story of Dev Dubai and Bur Dubai, the old and the new. Hapa, we are talking about Hola Town and Dayate, and we cannot make progress. They have made those progresses many years ago. You go to Malaysia, the same. You go to Singapore, the same. You go to wherever. Hizo nchi zote tunazungumzia. So, tumewabeba wengi tukaenda nao nje ili waone dunia vile ilivyo. Inaitwa learning through exposure. Tumewapeleka even we've taken so many women. We've taken so many young people. We've taken so many hata wazee tumeenda nao kujaribu kupanua fikra ili tusonge. Lakini bado tano. 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 Yeah. So, sisi tuna mpango mzuri kwenu. We have put there the Inuka Fund ya kuwasaidia kuwabeba. We have supported so many young girls and women to open their businesses. We've given contracts. People have done um, a lot of things. And we still have many plans. And those of the First Lady Juzi in the new, in the new order, we have put there the office under the office of the First Lady, a sub-department of social development programs, different from social programs, just to align certain programs, and also they will hang loose, align it with government, so that government can be able to run programs.
to uplift the standards of women, girls, widows, wale wengine tulikuwa tunasema single mothers. Ambayo under the manifesto ya Azimio ilikuwa inaitwa social development programs. We have it here.